What is going on, Pats Nation? It's Patriots Global here back with another video, another draft video here as we're going to get into with the analysis on the Patriots drafting safety Joshua Bledsoe from Missouri with the 188th pick overall in the sixth round. Now, PFF has him listed as a cornerback, but I've seen him as safety pretty much everywhere else, so... Maybe he just brings some of that versatility, but I do seriously see him as more of a safety. I, I don't really see him as a cornerback, uh, and I think that's how Belichick will use him as a safety, but you know, ultimately, it's just going to be how well he plays um, in each position, and I guarantee you Belichick is going to try him at outside corner and at safety. But straight off the bat, this dude looks like a linebacker. You can clearly see this is not no slim defensive back. Now, you would hope that he would be a little bit taller, but he is still six foot, so it's not terrible. But six foot, 200 pounds. 200 pounds as a DB. This is a big, big man that plays DB. Now, he's somebody that hasn't graded extremely well over the last few years, but it's a six-round pick, so at this point, you're kind of taking a chance on a guy and hoping that he can turn out to be something. He had an overall PFF grade in 2020 of 63.1, in 2019, 62.5, and in 2018, 67.5. Has a decent amount of experience in college here with about 34 games since 2018. He played 667 defensive snaps in 2020, 355 coverage. He was targeted 48 times, allowed 28 receptions, 485 yards, four touchdowns with one interception and allowed a pass rating of 111.9. In 2019, he had 755 defensive snaps, 390 coverage. He was targeted 54 times with 28 receptions. 421 yards, four touchdowns, zero interceptions, a lot of passer rating of 102.5. 2018, he had an overall grade of, like I said, 67.5. He had 516 defensive snaps, uh, 308 coverage. He was targeted 29 times, allowed 15 receptions. He also led up 245 yards and three touchdowns with a passer rating of 114.9. So clearly, not great numbers here. It, it doesn't really uh, make you confident or, or comfortable with him being a starting piece, but you don't really need him to be a starting piece. If the Patriots truly wanted a starting piece for safety, they would have went out and drafted a more high caliber guy in these higher rounds. In the sixth round, the seventh round, you're just taking a chance on a guy hoping that he could just be at least a average piece for you. But I do think that Bledsoe does fit what the Patriots do. He's going to fit very well in a man-to-man -man coverage scheme, which is what the Patriots do 80-85% of the time. Now, he's not great in coverage, but he's much better in coverage than he is as a run defender. They gave him a coverage grade of 66.3, but a run defensive grade of 54.5 and a completion percentage of 58.3. Now, on the NFL website, they do say that he is a, or rather was, a reserved defensive back from Missouri in his first two seasons. He played in 12 games as a, few tr as a true freshman with 13 tackles and one sack, and as a sophomore, 28 tackles and two pass breakups. He started all 12 games for the Tigers in 2019, leading the team with 10 pass breakups, and he also posted about 49 tackles uh, with four for a loss. He also topped his team with six pass breakups again in 2020 with 41 tackles, two and a half tackles for loss, and one interception in 10 starts. That is essentially what led him to get in an invitation to the Senior Bowl, which ultimately I believe is kind of how the Patriots more so discovered him. He's a guy that I'll be very, very interested to see exactly where the Patriots want to play him. Do they want to place him at safety or do they want to place him more so at nickelback? Do they want to place him a little bit more closer to the line of scrimmage? That could be something they want to do, especially with his size. He's someone who clearly has a very good frame, but from the stats that I did just list, you can tell that that ability and coverage is just not there. Now, he did mainly play 
as a nickelback in college. We'll have to see if that's where Belichick wants to continue to keep him because he didn't do very good in college when playing a nickelback. That's where he allowed a lot of those touchdowns. He does have very good awareness. He's very competitive. He plays very tough and strong. But again, those limitations as a, a coverage defensive back are going to concern you because ultimately, if you can't cover, then the point of you on a team is what? You know, <laughs> your point as a defensive back is to cover. Honestly, this just seems like the classic Bill Belichick signing in the 6th to 7th round. I think that we saw Belichick do something in these earlier rounds, picks, I would say, 1 to 1 to 4, 1 to 5, where he was definitely picking up from an athletic and talent standpoint. I don't really necessarily think that Bledsoe has that, but he has the mental capacity, that mental aspect that Belichick loves. He's smart. He has that hot, hardcore competitive toughness, and he's somebody that does not give up. He's somebody that's determined. So I think that Belichick essentially drafted him for some of the things he saw from a physical standpoint, but mostly from what he saw on that mental standpoint. He is somebody that also does communicate very well, especially when it is pre and post snap. And when it came to defending underneath rounds, underneath routes against Kadarius Tony, he did pretty well. And although he didn't perform too well against the run, he is somebody who is very willing to give his all against it. Overall, this is just a big, big project piece for Bill Belichick. We'll have to see if he can get anything out of it. I'm definitely not expecting anything out of this, though. Again, great from a personality and mental standpoint, but from a physical football standpoint, man, this is a true, true, true project piece for Bill Belichick, a guy that gets burned for touchdowns, he's not able to high point the ball, choppy movements, I mean, just things you do not want to hear as a defensive back. In the end, though, Belichick drafted him for a reason. I have faith in him and definitely excited to see how his development goes. I definitely think that Bledsoe will be a guy that will give his all in order to try and get better. We'll just have to see if the coaching can make him any better. Before we end this video off, though, I do want to talk about the sponsors real quick of this video, BetOnline.ag. Now, BetOnline has the fastest and easiest ways to bet on all of your sports action. Football might be over, but NBA, college basketball, and the NHL are a full swing. BetOnline even covers awards, TV shows, and reality TV, along with real-time updated odds and props on almost anything you can imagine. BetOnline also has you covered for all of the news, scores, and odds, and it's the best way to place your bets, and it's completely free to sign up. All you guys got to do is head to the website or use your mobile device to receive your 50% off welcome bonus on your first deposit. This is Ben Online, your online sportsbook experts. Don't sit on the sidelines anymore, my friends. Get in with the action. And don't forget to use that promo code CLNS50 to receive a 50% off welcome bonus on your first deposit. The Pats target safety Joshua Bledsoe here in the sixth round. What are your guys' thoughts on this? Let me know in the comment section below. Remember to give this video a big, big thumbs up. These do take a little bit of time to make, especially when there is so much of them. So it would mean a lot to me if you guys did leave a like on this video, along with comment some of your thoughts in the comment section below, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for all of your New England Patriots news. But like always, I appreciate each and every single one of you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.